Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Tuesday, March the 12th, and this is actually my second attempt. I did not make it this morning before I had to start my normal day shift. And I had incorrectly assumed a 158 triple down here, which led to problems in box 9. I first ended up with a repeat 5 somewhere, and then I ended up with no 5 here. So this is with the added benefit of hindsight. A little bit. And these two eights force an eight in one of those three. These two fives do the same thing. These two ones are going to force a one up here. Now, I think I had incorrectly assumed that this had to have been a one five eight triple while ignoring this one. And that's not the case. So with eight and five, I'm done with my top three rows. The middle three rows, I have two fours here. In four, in five and six, that'll force a four on the top corners of row four, and that's all I get. In the bottom three rows, I think I can repeat a three, and I will get it a repeat seven right there. One, two, four, six. I'm done. Yep. Okay. What about the? Well, I'd already placed the 1, and that's all I get there. Uh, 2 is in one of these two spots. 5 is in one of these three spots. And 3 is in one of those three. Based on 2 here, 5 here, and 3 there, respectively. If 2, 5, and 3 are out, I have 8, 4, 7 wants a piece. I can't do anything else with it, so I have to look at the rightmost, and I think this is where I get a breakthrough. Those two eights are going to force an eight one of these two. But the key point is, look where four and six are positioned. There's a four and a six in column seven, a four and a six in column eight, so four and a six in column nine must go in box three, which is these two spots. But this one has a 6 looking at it, and that gives me two digits right off the bat. Now, these two 4s are going to place a 4 in one of those two. These two 6s are going to place a 6 in one of these two. And I think that's all I get. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8... Unfortunately, uh, well, okay, 7 looks in, but that still leaves 3 spots for 7. Oh, this is 6 and 7, so this is 1 or 9. Can't be anything else. This is 1, 7 or 9, because it's not 6. Unfortunately, these are any of them. Because of the 6 here, I don't even have a triple. Okay, column 9 is where I probably ought to do some work. In fact, I can. I need a 9 in column 9, but it can't go in these two cells, so it must go in these two. Because this is a 9 in column 9, and it's a virtual 9. With that 9, that means one of those is a 9. What's left is 1, 2, 7, 9 in some fashion. And this is... These two are not 7 because of this. This isn't 7 because of that 7 looking to its right, so 7 actually goes here. Now, so these three cells are a triple. This is 1 and 2, it can't be 9. But any of these are 1, 2, 9. Unfortunately, that doesn't help with much of anything else. This 7, oh, it interacts with this one to force a 7 on one of these two, but it can't go here because of this 7, so 7 in box 4 is actually placed, and I didn't see that sooner. These two 7s now force a 7 on one of those, 3.
Okay, this 5 looks in. This 5. This 5 looks down. So 5 in box 6 is in one of those two, which combined with this 5 forces that one to be a 5. And therefore this one isn't. Okay, this 5 doesn't interact with anything else in its column, does it? But, 1, 5, 7, 4, 6, 8, this is now a triple. This is 2, 3, 9, and this is 2 or 3, so it can only be 9, which makes that 1. None of these are 1. That's a triple. That's not resolved. Uh, this is 2 and 3, which is resolved because they have 2 and 3 looking at them from the column perspectives. Now, oh, this 9 and this 9 interact to force a 9 in one of these two. Uh, 1 in this row means that's not 1 and this is. And there's your proof that this couldn't have been 1, 5, 8, because 1 was up here. Now, I still don't have 5, 7, 8 here because I've got way too many possibilities for 7 still remaining in box 1. Now, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, 1 and 2 both come in here. I'm going to hear it. Yeah, okay. Right, well, 1 and 2 both come in here. Oh, this can't be 9 because these are 9. 1 and 2 can't be here. 1 or 2 are forced to be in there. And I think that means this is now a triple, right? Because I need a 5 and a 9. I need a 5 and a something. 3, 4, 6, 7, 1, 2, 9. I need 5 and 8. This could still be 8, couldn't it? 5 and 8 can go here. But these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and they can't be 9. Right, those, those two can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. And they can't be 9 because it's there. So 5, 8 must be here, which means this is an 8. Five eight must be there. This can't be eight. That, I think eight has to go here. That's a five. Means that's a five. This is not eight. Let's see. That's not five. Five is one of these two, but that doesn't help me. Let's see, I've got 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, already in column 8. I need 1, 2, 3, and 7. This can only be 3 or 7, it sees 1 and 2. That's any of the digits. That's not 1 or 3. That was not helpful. But 1, 2, and 3. as a triple in box six, and now that's done. This is two thirds of a one, two, three, and I'm not sure what else you do with at the moment. One, two, three, five, seven, nine. I need four, six, and eight to fill out column six. This is four, eight, it can't be six. This is six or eight. That's anything. Oh, that's irritating. See, this 6 looks down, this 6 looks over. 
Unfortunately, six is, has, still has one, two, three spots in box seven. I can't do anything with it. Are there any hidden digits in a row someplace? Not that I can see easily. One, two, four, six. And row three is all I have to work with. I need three, five, seven, eight, nine. This is five, seven, and eight. This is three or nine only. Not any of them, yep. Three, eight, or nine. It can't be five or seven. That's only not seven. All right, what's here? Not four, five, six, seven, eight. This is one, two, three, or nine. Okay, one is definitely not. We know one is in one of those two, which doesn't tell me anything useful. Seven there also doesn't tell me anything useful. This can't be three because of that. This can't be three because of that. So three must go here, which means these aren't three, and that's a hidden digit. I'm going to go mark that, because this can't be three since there's a virtual three here, and that's the only two plots in the column, because these two are both ruled out by given threes. That must be nine. This isn't nine, and also can't be three. So these three are not nine. Now, I don't get much help elsewhere that I can see. Four, five, six, eight already in row two. I need one, two, three, seven, nine, but neither of these can be one. That's seven nine, which means I can't do anything with it. Hmm. Two, three, four, five in column five. I need one, six, seven, eight, nine, and I don't have much to go with, do I? Nothing useful there at all. Well, I like the fact that New York Times is making me work for things. Let's see, these two are not one, three, five, six, eight. So they're in that oddball configuration. And all about all I managed to do is obfuscate the grid. What about these two? Those two are the only things left for box five. They look like one, four, six, and eight. I think that's any of them, except eight. Okay, so this is one, four, six, but it's these four. I've got eight in one of those two. I do not like those offset pairs. Let's see, one, two, three, five, eight in row seven. So those four, along with this one, these are going to be four, six, seven, nine. Oh, and this actually sees four, six, seven. That's a nine. And oh, look, Ma, we found another triple. This nine doesn't interact with anything else. 
that I can see. So these two are not two, three, or eight. I don't even have a triple here. Oof, duh. All right, what about these two? These are not one, four, five, or seven. And I get no help. These are not one, four, five, seven, nine. That's two thirds of a two, three, eight. Okay, so this is going to be another triple, I think. That one's not three, so this is two or eight only. And that's been staring at me for a while. I just didn't see it. All right, those aren't one, seven, or nine. As far as odd digits, I'm down to 3, 5. It could be any of the evens. Okay. So everything is filled in at this point. I didn't expect to get here Oh, and there's a one, two, three here. Actually, this doesn't interact with anything I can see, does it? Oh, that's a bad option. Uh, that's an even worse option. I hate to use brown, but I'm running out of colors at this point. Literally everything is marked as a quad here. But that interacts with that quad. Hmm. What am I not seeing here? Even one crosses a region. Oof, duh. Fortunately, so does two there. And everything else. Yeah, I'd have to think about this more. I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. Seven's there, but nothing else interacts with it. Five, five is here, but nothing else interacts with it. Nine, unfortunately, crosses a... and turns a corner. Four, 
does that too. Okay, th this is not going to be one of my prettiest solves today. And let me know in the comments what I'm not seeing. Because I managed to get myself uber stuck. Really, for the first time in a while. threes and nothing else in the row is a three. Uh, there's ones here. Unfortunately, that crosses a region. Yeah, I almost don't like having to prove something by contradiction. There has to be a better way to do this. Uh, well, I, uh, I don't know what else to do other than try guessing at this point. I've been thinking for a good several minutes, and... Uh, well, or wait a minute. It just also occurred to me, can I say, in column 5, these three are a 6, 7, 9, triple. I think I can. Because that looks suspiciously like one you'd make. And if that's the case, this isn't six, that's not nine. This now resolves to a one eight. Unfortunately, I still don't have anything as to where I'm supposed to go at that point. So now, well, if this was 8, what does that do? That would restrict 8 out of here. Let's see if that resolves anything. So look, we're going to assume this is an 8. Therefore, 4, 6. Uh, this has to be 7, and I run into a contradiction. I have no place for any digit in this cell. So I think I've just proven my contradiction. This cell cannot be 8.
Therefore, this cell, we're going to assume, is a 1. That's an 8. This is not 8. These aren't 1. This 8 means these two are not 8. That forces one of those three to be an 8. This 1 is going to make that 2, and this will solve the 1, 2, 9 triples that have been plaguing me for ages. Whoops, I forgot to delete the 1 there. This is a 1, 2, 3, so that's a 2. Uh, that's 7. This is 3. That's 1. I think it's forced like that. This is going to be a 6, 9 pair, which makes that 7. Now, these two 7s force that one to be a 7 here, because those are not. Okay, these resolved with 3, 9. So this is 8. That should be 5. Uh, these are 6, 9. Which means these are 2, 4. That fortunately still looks like it works. This 8 means this is not 8. So that's a 2. These aren't 2. And those aren't 5, and that's not 2. Eight's out of there, right? Oh, and three's the only digit left in column two. So these aren't three. Oh, six, nine resolves that to be a one because it can't be six. That'll place three, one in column seven. This comes back over here. This is a four, six pair. So these are two, eight. The far left. I think we're getting somewhere. This 7 means this can't be 7. That's 6. 8, 4. 6 comes back up. 9, 6 are placed in row 1. So 4 and 6 are placed in row 4. I can't believe the middle band isn't sorted yet. Okay, this is now a triple. 5, 7, 9, and this can only be 5 out of those things. Uh, this is 5 and 7, so that's 9. That's 7. 6 and row 7 looks over. That's a 4, and that's going to sort out almost everything at the top of the grid. Let's see. This 8 looks over. That's a 6. 9, 6. This 9 in column 3 sorts out 3, 9. Okay, these digits are 3 and 5, and this has 5 looking at it. This has 3 looking at it. That's forced to be an 8, and boy, boy, that was ugly. Almost 30 minutes, and I basically had to use a hidden 6, 7, 9 triple in column 5, and then bifurcate just with a digit. I just got lucky, and I wasn't sure what I could have improved on here. So if you have any comments in the strategy and let me know how I could have solved this fatter, faster, please let me know in the comments. And thank you for joining me this afternoon.